Aiden Holloway transfers from Auburn to Alabama basketball. Heads are exploding down in Lee County. We're going to talk about that. And Nate Oates' next target, another Aiden, Aiden Mahaney from St. Mary's. Kool-Aid McKinstry got the key to the city of Penson, but no one wanted to pay for the actual key. Wow. And then Logan Powell, four-star in Tuscaloosa from Scottsboro. We're going to talk about the offensive lineman's visit to Tuscaloosa. All that right here on the Bama Tailgate YouTube channel. Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. That's a great way of saying Roll Tide. Let's get this party started. Here's your invitation. Happy Sunday, everybody, with Big Sexy Elmo from WJLX in Jasper, Alabama. Brett Elmore, I'm Mick Gillespie. Let's get right into it, Brett. Heads are exploding down on the plains. Yes, they are. Uh, we seem to have one of their basketball players. Just get yeah, boom, boom. And it's uh, – but, you know, you, you, could almost, you could see it coming. I mean, we, we said it a couple of days ago. He's he's gonna land in Tuscaloosa, and guess what? The eagle has landed. <laughs> the eagle has landed in T Town. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> oh man, where is the loyalty anymore? What are those tigers come to uh, Tuscaloosa to join the arch rival? Boy, he'll get a welcome back in Auburn when they go on the road. Um, but hey, the guy's a player. And uh, we welcome him to, to, to Tuscaloosa. The guy can uh, shoot it from the three. Um, uh, he's, a, he's a good player, and I, I hope he fits the system uh, that Nate, Nate Oates has. Yeah, well, I think he will. I mean, the, the thing that worries me is not how Alabama basketball is going to be with all the transfers. I mean, we've seen this happen the last couple years, and Nate Oates goes out and retools and – and, and has success, it's what's happening to collegiate athletics. It's not just Alabama where you're losing five guys, six guys, you know. Um, look at all the transfers out of Duke. Look at all the transfers out of Tennessee. Look at the transfers from Auburn. When it got – think about Kentucky. this. Yeah, in Kentucky. Think about a guy leaving Auburn to come to Alabama, Right. I mean, and, and it shows you that uh, obviously everyone's excited to have Holloway and Alabama lost a player in football to Auburn. But the, I guess they really don't see the rivalry the same way that we do. It's more of a business decision to these guys, you know, whereas to us, you know, we, we just wouldn't want anything to do with them because they're our, our arch rival. Oh, those times are changing, Mick. Aren't they changing? And uh, could you could you just throw on like some Auburn gear like tomorrow? If I mean, could you do it? No, 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 um, no. I think our local thrift store is uh, closed on Monday, so I wouldn't be able to get any anyway. Right. Uh, but you could no, be like the rest of the OBS and wear your good stuff when you think you have a decent team, but then most of the time it's packed up in a suitcase somewhere. That's right. Or, uh, you know, a, a good yard sale. That's a good yard sale. Out of me. If you need Auburn gear, go to a yard sale. Those you notice normal. that though? Is it me? Or, I mean, you guys tell me in the comment section, that's like every time they, they, they normally stink or they're not, they're okay, you know, and you never see any of their gear, but the minute they have a team that might win, all of a sudden, like it's like they come out from under the couch like roaches. It's like, damn, where did the, they start printing you Auburn gear? Where did all this <laughs> stuff come from? I mean, gee whiz. And, uh, I, I would hate for them to go to the retro because if they'd start pulling it out because it's been stuck for so long, it's back in style. <laughs> Swing it right back in. Yeah, you know, come on, but uh, – uh, it's good to have him on the team. We'll see what he does. And um, uh, I'm excited to have him just to see. Well, another guy that all of, all of a sudden Alabama is looking at is a guard, Aiden Mahaney from St. Mary's. Remember, St. Mary's uh, could have been a matchup that Alabama had if Grand Canyon wouldn't have beaten them 
in the in you know in the tournament, right? They lost in the first round, and then Alabama played Grand Canyon, I think, instead of St. Mary's. And uh, so we could have seen this guy in action, pretty close. But the 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 you know Nate Oates machine looking out for uh, some more guys that can shoot the ball. Yeah, this is a guy that's um, on a lot of teams' radar. Uh, do I think we'll get this guy? I don't know. But there's a lot of talk about him maybe in the mix. And uh, uh, he had a, a, a great season there for St. Mary's. Um, uh, you know, uh, he averaged double figures, about 14 points a game in each of his two seasons with St. Mary's. Um, shot decent from uh, behind the arc uh, last year, 35%. Uh, but he, he was a little bit more efficient as a freshman. But um, yeah, he's a shooter. He, he, he's, he's a player that a lot of people are after. Michigan's one of those that, that may land this guy. They have a pretty good, probably a, a better chance uh, because um, Michigan had hired uh, the lead recruiter that was recruiting this guy anyway. Um and so Michigan's in there and UConn and Kentucky's after the guy, but Alabama's in the mix too. So it's just a, it's just a name to watch out for. Yeah. Somebody to keep put in your, uh, in your peripherals and just kind of yeah. say, Hey, there's a chance that Alabama and Nate Oates are going to nab somebody else. There's a lot of roster management going on right now. And he's certainly someone that could help you. Hey guys, I want to remind you that the show's brought to you by new life art. Use the promo code Bama Tailgate. You got about another week of this, and then we're going to switch to something else. But it's 15% off, 4th and 31, the amazing uh, end of Auburn's uh, Iron Bowl when they yeah. were about to rush the field. And they were yeah. going to, they'd still be talking about it right now. But we've got them to put all of their gear back with that pass. So relive yeah. it with the Daniel Moore print. Talking football, Brett, this one is really really something kool-aid mckinstry was given the key to the city of pinson right and we all love kool-aid um you know he played for pinson high school football led them to the 6a championship in 2020 he was named uh alabama mr football usa today defensive player of the year came to alabama played cornerback was an sec all-american an ap all sec defensive team First team, uh, AP, first team All-American. He's going to the NFL. In the city of Pinson, uh, they gave him the key to the city. The mayor did. And uh, they they spent $405 on food and $175 on the key to the city. And one of the city council members, Glenda Kirkland, is trying to have a very short political career. Because she's going to find out that one way that people will never vote for you is if you go against the Alabama Crimson Tide. She's complaining about the cost of the key, $175. Yeah. Doesn't want to pay for it. She she said she had no problem with the $405 uh, worth of food for the after party of Kool-Aid Day, um, which was last month. Uh, Kool-Aid McKinstry Day. She said, uh, uh, you know, um, she didn't think, I think the taxpayers uh, needed to pay for it. And then this other council member, Robbie Roberts, um, he, he said, I thought, thought the event was fantastic. I think uh, Kool-Aid's fantastic. Uh, I also thought taxpayer dollars shouldn't go toward uh, individual support. And he thought it needs to be paid with private funds. Well, this was an issue at a council meeting and they received a lot of backlash on social media. Why this is even a topic that comes up. Um, and what had happened was, uh, the mayor, uh, apparently, uh, went on ahead and did this without even approaching the city council, which, um, I think that's, um, the way you're supposed to do things is, is go to the council first, but, um, so anyway, when the bill came with the key on the credit card bill, they're going they're not going to pay the bill because of 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 this key, and and so anyway, Roberts 
whips out his checkbook and is like, I'll, 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 I'll write a check for $175. Um, but it, it's just a, a mess. And um, like I say, a lot of people was on social media was just all over the story because um, how ridiculous it sounded. Yeah, they need to vote her out. And it's $175. You're talking about a guy who's going to be worth millions of dollars and that can do a lot of stuff for your city. And now you've embarrassed you, you, you've embarrassed him. You've embarrassed yourself. You've embarrassed Alabama because now we're talking about it. You've made yourself a national story over one hundred and seventy five dollars. Like, right. give oh, me yeah, a break. Yeah. It's it's yeah. Cole Aid McKinstry. He's just one of the he's a, you know, one of the great national champions to come out of uh, the University of Alabama. And um, he, he, you sound very petty for your one hundred and seventy five dollars. I think we could have done a GoFundMe to pay for it. And and it, and I don't blame the mayor. Look. You've got to honor the people that come out of your city sure. that are succeeding in life. They're an inspiration. Kool-Aid is an inspiration, Glenda, to the whole city. And you guys saying, oh, you know, 175 it's $175. Right. But take it out of your pocket and pay for it instead of making Pinson look like idiots. Great job. Yeah. Great yeah. job. Yeah, no, no, I, I agree with you. I mean, they, they, they look very foolish, and I awful. I remember when Pinson uh, came to Jasper that night, and I saw Kool Aid McKinstry <laughs> with my eyes myself, and I thought, "Good <laughs> grief! I'm it's glad just... this guy's going to Tuscaloosa." <laughs> and it's... please leave Jasper as fast as you can, sir. Yeah, it's just like the 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 whole. Sometimes these politicians, they 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 just don't think. No, you know, no. Now, if it was, you know, if it was a couple thousand dollars or something, I mean, but one hundred and seventy five bucks, you know, you you just made everybody look stupid. And and it's probably over. The, they're probably upset because the mayor didn't ask them. Who cares? Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's, that's probably who cares? Yeah, who yeah. cares? Yeah. You guys work that out in private. Yeah. You know, to to act like you don't want to pay for a hundred and say, oh, I'm all right with the food, but the key now, that's where I'm going to draw the line. Right, yeah, the awful. $175 key. Dude, I, I just think it's awful. I think yeah. it's just stupid. I think it's awful. I think it's embarrassing. This is one of those stories that maybe that, you know, that they could find something else to do. Somebody run against them. That The people that are opposed to giving Kool-Aid the key and paying for it, Run against them in Penson and let them find something else to do uh, with their time instead of embarrassing Alabama. All right, let's talk about something good, and we'll start with Logan Powell, an offensive lineman from one of my favorite places in the entire country, Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys know me in Scottsdale from hanging out at places like the Old Mission or the Rusty Spur Bar, or maybe uh, Dirk Bentley's Bar over there as well. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I love some Scottsdale. I spent spring trainings out there. Oh, yeah. Logan Powell, though, uh, who is a USC lean in Tuscaloosa Friday, blown away by the facilities, loved the visit. What can you tell me about this big fella? Six foot four, 280 pounds, a big old tackle. Uh, he's a solid Six five and two eighty two, he a uh, solid frame. I mean, a, a good looking line lineman, and uh, he checks all the boxes uh, for a lineman. Um, plays with plenty of leverage. Uh, uh, will will drive you off the ball. Um, he, he'll finish you all the way to the ground. Uh, plays with good feet. I mean, he he checks all the boxes, and a lot of teams. You're right, Meg. Are after this guy. Uh, he primarily plays right tackle in high school, and that'll probably translate over to the college game. A lot of folks are saying that he'll stay uh, uh, at tackle, uh, but uh, could probably shift around and make the uh, transition fairly well. So um, pretty good prospect, and uh, uh, we'll see what happens as Bama is now on his radar. Yeah, 24-7 sports has him as a four-star. The rest of them three-star, but – He's a, he's a slight USC lean. Michigan's after him pretty heavy. Arizona State, Oklahoma, Bama in there. And I think after this uh, trip that he had to Tuscaloosa, uh, he's going to be a lot more serious about Alabama. He, he's he been talked to by the coaches from when they were at Washington. Yeah. So, um, And I guess it would their offensive line coach 
uh, was at Wisconsin, right? So, yeah, I mean, they these guys have been on him for a while. So we'll keep an eye on Logan Powell. All right, Brett, uh, we talked about New Life Art and uh, the fact that the promo code Bama Tailgate is good for 15% off, 4th and 31 right now. But let's talk about you. Uh, let's talk about the show that you air uh, that comes on every morning. And there's the promo. There's you staring at me below me. Look at that right there. Hey, Brad, how you doing? Uh, right, right. Hey, man. Right. <laughs> uh, Are you eating crawfish? We got a little crawfish for you. I got a little crawfish. I, I had a little crawfish <laughs> necklace from my uh, remote yesterday. I had a little crawfish necklace, and it was it was nice. Um, yeah, join me in the morning, 6 to 10, for uh, my show. Uh, if you like uh, great classic hits, um, and we have a lot of fun at 6 till 10 Central, WJLX1015.com. All right, guys, and, and if you're saying to yourself now, what does this guy bring to the table? They call him Big Sexy. Coming at you from the Walker County. Jasper is his hometown. He's no forgiving free right now. Hi, Roll Tide, everybody. Talk to you tomorrow.